This question says that we have 75, 53, 35, 21 is a quadratic, so okay, quadratic number pattern. Um, write down the fifth term. Okay, so that should be pretty straightforward. It's only for f uh, one mark. So if we go 75, uh, 53, 35, and then 21, then if you look at the difference, from the first one to the next one, you're gonna say 53 take away 75, and that's negative 22. Don't say positive 22, it's negative 22. And then 35 take away 53 is negative 18, and then 21 take away 35 is negative 14. Okay, now to work out the second difference, because that's what a quadratic is, is you're gonna take this one minus this one, okay, it's always the one on the right, take away the one on the left. And so that's gonna end up being a four, and then this one would also be a four. Okay, so if we then had to carry on, then this would be a four, so then this would be a negative 10, so then this would have to be 11, because it's 21, take away 10. And so the fifth term is 11. Now here it says determine the nth term. So we know a quadratic is tn equals to an squared plus bn plus c. Then we know, well, I mean, there's different ways of doing this, but the way that I use is I know that I circle these th first three numbers over here, and then we have formulas. So 2a, 3a plus b, and then a plus b plus c. Okay, so those are the three formulas that we use. So we start at the bottom. So um, we're gonna say uh, 2a equals to four, started from the bottom, now we're here. Cheers to you if you were thinking that as well. Um, if you weren't, I apologize. So 2a is equal to four for that awkward moment. So 2a is equal to four, and then if you divide, uh, you end up with a equals to two. Okay, so we have a, fantastic. Then you go up one level to this one over here, so that's 3a plus b, so you say 3a plus b equals to negative 22. a is two from the previous part. Okay, and then you just say six plus b equals to negative 22. And so if you had to take the six over, you'd end up with negative 28. Um, okay, so we have a is two and b is negative 28. Then you choose this one, so that's a plus b plus c equals to 75. So a we know as two, b we know as 28, and then c we can calculate. And so if you had to calculate c, you should eventually get 101. Okay, 101 Dalmatians. So <laughs> if we then go for everything in, we end up with tn equals to 2n squared minus 28n plus 101. Now always do a little safety check for yourself to make sure you haven't maybe done like some small mistake. So choose one of these numbers. Um, I wouldn't choose the first one. I would choose like one of the ones towards the end. So let's choose this one, okay? So that is 21. So what you do, and what position is that? Well, that's position one, position two, position three, position four. So let's go plug a four into all of those places. So that'll be two, well, I'm gonna run out of space. So you go two times four, uh, take away 28 times four plus 101. And let's see what we get. We get 21, and so we've done it correctly. Okay, because sometimes it's easy to make a small mistake that you might not pick up. But if you do that little safety check, you can, you can pick it up and then you, you'll go look and maybe you just changed a positive to a negative or you made like some type of small mistake. Okay, plus 101. Okay, so we have the formula. This last question says, determine the maximum value. Okay, so we know that, well, let me rather explain. So um, if you have a quadratic, listen carefully, this is important. If you have a quadratic number pattern, like something like this, that is a parabola. Do you agree with me it's a parabola? You see how it's got the x squared, but here we just use the letter n squared. So it's a parabola, okay? It's either a sad parabola or it's a happy parabola. It doesn't really matter. But if they ever ask you to find the maximum or the minimum, then it's these positions over here, right? Those are the minimums and the maximums. So that's just the turning point. Now we know to find a turning point, you can use the formula negative b over 2a, okay? So, that is how you find a minimum and maximum of any parabola. So we need to just go get this thing's formula, all right? Because it's not the same as this one. 
So remember that any quadratic formula is a parabola, and to find the minimum or maximum of a parabola, you use minus b over 2a, okay? Um, now, usually, because they've included this question with this question, there's normally going to be some type of relationship between these expressions. And there is a relationship, uh, but not everyone's going to see that. So what you can do if you ever wanted to, let's say you can't see the relationship. I'll explain what that relationship is shortly. But what you could then do is just ignore this one and just go restart this question all by, by like brand new. And you could go work out the formula for this one. You know, the a n squared plus b n plus c. So you could go you could go work out the a, b, and the c. Okay, and you wouldn't you wouldn't have to worry about this one at all. Okay, so Kevin, what is the relationship? Well, if you look carefully, um, I looked at this part here, 53, and then I saw there was a 5. Okay, so then I thought maybe they're dividing by 5. So then I tried to divide this number by 5, and I got 15, but this is negative 15. So then I said, okay, maybe they're dividing it by negative 5. So then what you can do is say 75 divided by negative 5, and it does give you that. You could say 53 divided by negative 5, it does give you that, that's good. 35 divided by negative 5 does give you that, and then 21 divided by negative 5 does give you that. So this sequence is this one divided by 5, or negative 5. So this sequence is this sequence divided by negative 5. So what we can go do is find a formula for this pattern by just taking this one and then dividing it by minus 5. So we can just say that it's going to be uh, 2n squared divided by minus 5 minus 28n divided by minus 5 plus 101 divided by minus 5. So we can then go simplify to become minus 2 over 5n squared. This negative and this negative will become a positive like that. And then this positive and this negative is a negative. So that would be negative 101 over 5. Now, this is a parabola, okay? The reason I say that is it has that n squared. Yes, normally it's an x squared, but with the patterns we use n instead of x. So to find, and it's got a negative, so it's a sad parabola. So it makes sense that it has a maximum value. So to find the maximum of a parabola, you use minus b over 2a. So we could say n is equal to minus b over 2a. So that's going to be equal to um, minus, and then b is this one, so it's 28 over 5, over uh, 2 times a, which is negative 2 fifths. There we go. And so if you had to go type this on your calculator, you're going to end up with 7. Now that is not the answer. Um, if you think about a parabola, um, you've got the x values, or in this case you'll have the n values. And what they're just telling you there, maybe this is n equals to 1, n equals to 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, that doesn't look so good. They're telling you that when n is 7, that is where the maximum is. But that's not the maximum value. To find the actual value, you're going to go plug that 7 into the formula in the place of n to see what the actual maximum value becomes. Okay? So we could find 7th term. Okay, and if you had to go work this all out, you end up with the final answer of negative 3 over 5. So that is the final answer there.